Hey friend, are you looking to get paid on ClickBank? Make some bank with ClickBank? <laughs> well, if so, then you probably want to get started with ClickBank, right? And get signed up. Well, in this exciting episode today, I'm going to share with you exactly how you can get signed up for ClickBank.com and a free account, all right? We're going to go through it step by step. ClickBank registration for beginners, all right? So if you're new to this channel, hey, my name is Chris from ChrisandGia.com and this channel is all about empowering you, the home business entrepreneur with the mindset and the online skill sets to get results, make money, and drive breakthroughs, all right? So if you like content like that, reviews, tutorials like this, then definitely give the video a like, consider subscribing to the channel, and go ahead and smash that bell too because you'll be notified whenever I drop new videos, which is pretty much almost daily, all right? So let's get right down into this thing, okay? The question is this, do you want to get paid affiliate ClickBank commissions <laughs> probably but if you would but in order to do that you definitely have to get started and signed up so in this video I'm gonna share with you number one how to get started for free on Clickbank all right which is pretty super simple and I'll walk to walk you through it step by step number two what to do if you cannot start an account that's so because there is quite a few of you that can't start it depending on what country you're in and I'll give you your options on what you can do after that and then number three I'm gonna give you this little known trick to how it's gonna help you increase conversions with your affiliate sales that you can only do during the sign up process so you'll definitely want to pay attention to that all right so let's get with let's get to this thing now Clickbank what is it so if you don't know Clickbank is basically this massive affiliate marketing network it's been recognized as a top 100 internet retail in over 190 countries so it's pretty much global all right it's a massive e-commerce platform it has digital and physical products but mostly digital products that are shared between vendors and affiliates so there's vendors that create these products and affiliates just as, such as you and myself who can promote these products and make affiliate commissions all right so this is the website here it's selfclickbank.com it's got plenty of different categories of things that you can promote all of them digital products and people can make tons of different commissions all right so if you want to get started with that then you have to create an account so the first thing you're going to do is come to this home page and you're going to click on right up top here where it says create account all right once you do that it's going to take you to this page all right and so it's pretty simple all right so essentially you're going to sign up for a clickbank account first page is click the language that you have select the country that you're in all right so you can see that there's a ton of countries we talked about it 190 plus countries so that's a lot right <laughs> and then you'll click in you'll sign in put your first name put your last name your address apartment zip code city phone number and email address that you want to be on file all right as you can see if you don't fill out all these things it's going to give you this red thing that hey it's required and it won't let you go to the next step so you have to pretty much fill out the whole thing all right and then once you do that you click next step it's going to take you to the next page and it's going to look something like this this is basically the banking information all right so pay close attention to this okay so the first thing is the payee name now the payee name can be one or two different names it's either your name right your personal private name Chris Gia James Jones whatever your name is right and you could put that in or it can be your business name too so if you want to put your business in here and get paid through your business and, and have funds deposited to your business then you can do that too all right so you can put your business name here then there's the bank name so the bank name is just whatever banking institution you're using but you're not actually setting anything up here like you're not setting up your banking and how you're gonna get paid and how you're gonna get your money deposited you're not doing that here you're just giving them a banking name and and then the banking country because I guess they kind of need this stuff to like do the thing in the background all right and then the tax ID so the tax ID is one of two things either it's your social security number if you used your personal name up here then that will be your social security number that will go into the tax ID or if you used your business name up here then this would be your EIN all right that's the employee ID number it's a number that you can get from the IRS from for a business all right so if you don't have that then most likely you just need to put your personal name here okay and put your social all right and then it's going to ask you to review the client contract and you'll notice that it won't even let you click on it until you actually click on the terms and conditions so when you click on that that brings up this whole thing here so you can kind of review it if you want but it's kind of boring but truth be told you probably should look at it but anyway we're going to assume that we looked at it blah 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 blah, blah. okay great <laughs> 
and then we'll come back here and then you'll be able to check it and then click next step all right and so and then the next step that's gonna be up here will be now your account information and this is where you're gonna put your nickname all right so this is interesting so I want you to pay close attention to this one okay and as a matter of fact let's go let's answer the for the uh, the next question that I, that I want to talk about we're gonna come back to this because this is a big one all right we're gonna come back to it now before we do I want to talk about what to do if you're not able to sign up for your Clickbank account like let's say you go through this process and then it tells you something to the effect of well you know what you can't register right because unfortunately we cannot offer you an account at this time okay and that's gonna happen to some of you a lot of people I've noticed especially if you're in countries like African countries a lot of African countries in India like for whatever reason Clickbank is not gonna let you get signed up I don't know why all I know is that there's like they'll say things like it has something to do with like fraud and their risk related policy I don't know what that is that's according to Clickbank but what I do know is that the only one thing that you can do is you can give them a call all right so you can give them a call I've left the number here for you to check that out give them a call at this 1-800 number or if you're calling internationally which I would assume is outside the US then you can use this number and I've heard that you can get on the phone with a customer service which I've gotten a phone on them with with them before and you could probably just kind of give your claim give you put you know protest your case on why you should have an account or at least getting an, get an inquiry and information on understanding on why they denied you all right so that's probably the best thing I can recommend for you if you're trying to get signed up for an account but they deny you all right now let's get into this next part now let's say now you're in the account credentials and you want to pick a nickname now what let me tell you the big mistake that even I made all right that a lot of people make is when you choose this nickname this nickname is the nickname that's actually gonna go in your affiliate links for any Clickbank product that you promote okay and so you want to be very strategic with this in fact you want to be very very careful so let's say for example you're here and you're at the affiliate marketplace right and we click here and we want to like take a look at some of the products here right so let's go to let's say e-business and e-marketing right so it's got a lot of online products here and let's say you want to promote I don't know any one of these things like right so let's say you want to promote the 100k shout out hey 818 bucks per sale looks awesome right and so if you want to promote what will happen is that you'll have to click on this button here to say promote and what is gonna happen oh yeah you got to be pre-approved for this one so let's try another one let's just try Clickbank University all right so let's promote that one and so what it's saying is that you want you're gonna earn commissions here and you want the the actual um, link that's gonna do it for you in fact actually let's just go to the actual page and let's see if it'll, it'll do it yeah here it goes all right so right now it's saying question mark hop equals zero okay so you probably can't see that up see that from where we're at but let me take a look so let's say that I put in my nickname here the nickname I use for one of my accounts is my name CNG and then you can have a tracking ID if you want and then I just want to do the default page and you generate the hop link all right so the hop link is basically your affiliate link then you're gonna get this link down here right this generated link now as you can see it's a pretty nasty looking link but then you can copy it right and if we copied it and went to a new page and put it in you will notice that what happens now you probably can't see it but up here it's saying clickbankuniversity.com forward slash offer forward slash hop equals nickname all right so you probably can't see it but that's what this looks like right here so let me just take I can copy it for you and all right so let me paste it on this notepad and this is what it looks like okay so it's got this clickbankuniversity.com offer question mark hop equals your um my nickname now the thing about this is that this is where your nickname is gonna go so if you put something here like johnny or whatever right that's fine but you got to remember that when you're promoting this as an affiliate people are gonna see this all right and so there's one there's one thing if you put johnny here people tend to like I don't know it's weird but when they see that they tend to probably not click because people have this thing about giving you know someone making a sale off of them right if they know it's an affiliate so you got to kind of be careful with that or if you put something crazy like um, you know 
uh, the big baller or something like that, you put something crazy like that, that's really going to throw people off. And there's a good chance you may not get as many clicks as you would expect. So this is, this is, you have to be really careful with, with that because that's what's going to, that's where you, that's where this happens is on the nickname section. So you want to make sure your nickname is something that would flow with the URL, right? That flows with it. So for example, some examples that I can show you that will, are examples that you can think about are words that would be natural plays in the URL. So, for example, discount, bargain, deal, freedom, join, offer, promo, promotion, bonus, sale. And then even if all of these are taken, which is a good chance they probably are, you can add numbers to them or you can combine the words together, right? You can say offer sale if you wanted to. So instead of, instead of the, uh, instead of just, you know, big baller, <laughs> you could say question mark offer sale 14, right? All of a sudden, this kind of looks like a more natural flowy link does that make sense so this will increase your conversions tremendously and it's definitely something that a lot of people won't talk about that i will be honest i didn't know about that definitely has made makes a whole lot of sense that you definitely want to do when you are getting started with your clickbank account and signing up all right so that's definitely what you want to do you would want to do here come up with some version of it any of those that i just gave you would work put a password here and create your account now, once you create your account, one of the few things you will, I would recommend you do is go into your back office and change up how you get paid, all right? So if you go into the back office, into your uh, payment, into your profile and payment information editor, you can actually determine, check, um, change out how you want ClickBank to pay you. So they can either pay you via direct deposit, via check, um, you can change the threshold, and if you want a direct deposit, you can put your banking information in here <clears throat> and get that saved, and then they will send that to you. So if you want more information and detailed on how ClickBank can pay you, there's actually a video that I did about that. I'll leave that in the description below so you can check that out. And then just gonna go through that just so that you make sure that you're getting paid the amount that you'd wanna get paid at the time to get paid. And then at that point, that's pretty much it. And then you can just go into the marketplace, kind of where we were, find a product that you'd like to promote, right? Fig, look at the affiliate page to see what information is available to you and get your link, hop link the same way that we talked about and just start sharing it and start making sales, all right? And if you wanna know which products are probably the best ones to promote, if you've never been on uh, ClickBank before, I do have a whole playlist of a bunch of ClickBank reviews that I've done on a lot of the top products that you see here. So you can check out that playlist that's on this channel as well. So I hope you got value. I hope this was helpful. I hope you got your, this was enough information for you to set, get your clickbank.com account set up so you can start generating sales. The step-by-step -step registration method is pretty simple. Not a lot. It's, it's not that difficult. You know, you just kind of walk through it. Definitely take advantage of some of those tips that I just shared with you about getting your nickname. That's going to save you a whole lot of time and energy and help you get more affiliate sales. All right. So you found this value valuable. Definitely give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel. Check out some of these videos over here that, will, that may help you to learn how to make more money online. And if you want to know my number one recommendation for making money online right now, then check out the link I got in the description below. Hey, check out the bonuses that I'm offering right now for a limited time as well. So until the next exciting episode, my friend, be blessed, stay hungry. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.